Hey everybody, Casey Kings of Wasmo is Casey or you were here to come in today. We are back playing The Sims 2. Let's play Pleasant View. So we are kicking off round nine. No, round eight. <laughs> we're kicking off round eight. Oh my god, I only have two more rounds and then we're done with Pleasant View season one. That is crazy. Like I can't believe I'm already nearly finished and I started it like a year ago. That's mad. But um yeah, we're kicking off um round eight today and we're playing with the goth family and poor dina is here sleeping lying all alone because mortimer is in jail which you guys will get an update of mortimer and how he's coping in jail at the end of this episode so yeah we'll jump over there like towards the end but another thing um look uh, how pretty my sims look. I got a new lighting mod, kind of. I downloaded Reshade. My sims looking beautiful. Beautiful. Um, question for you guys. When I get my new PC and I have to reinstall the sims to, to my new PC, would you guys want me to do a tutorial on like how I organise my mods in CC, how my game looks, how it does, and how, how and what I installed to make it look as good. I might take one of the reshades I have on because I don't know if it's going to make my game go slow. I'm going a, I'm to a quickly see if it changes anything. Okay, that didn't change too much. I just made it a bit less vibrant, which is okay. I'm okay with that. Take the vibrant down a notch, you know, it's a bit much. I won't lie. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see that video of me, like, organising everything and all that kind of stuff um i might make it if you guys would be interested in that um these guys are actually all in bed so we're picking up from like a, a while after mortimer's been in jail for a while alexander obviously went and um had lunch with his mom jean aged up into a little child in the last episode i actually want to give her a bigger room because like i mean she's dina and mortimer's kid and they have money and i feel like dina would just like turn her into a princess. So I was thinking, hear me out, I was thinking we could make the basement like Jean's bedroom and by that I think, because Dina knows that there is something like behind here. She, she doesn't know what it is but she knows there's space of some sort. She knows that the wall was hollow and that there's room behind there. So I think she wants to kind of like get into your decorators and like decorators into the house and start to basically take down the basement to build it as a room for Jean. And I feel like her idea is to kind of overrun the golf mansion because obviously she is pissed off with Bella and she knows Bella wants back into this house and um you know, Bella loves old, she loves the golf mansion, she loves how old fashioned it is, she, you know, she's she's in to all of that. Um, and I feel as like Dina's way of getting back at her would be like to completely overthrow it and make it modern. But there's going to be some issues with that because even though she is married to Mortimer and she is the step parent of um alexander's golf and she owns half of mortimer's money basically um she doesn't know that because mortimer was basically left widowed after bella went missing for some reason that he's now in prison for um Bella and Mortimer are also still kind of married but not really because I don't know how it works. So technically Bella has also has half of this somehow. So that is something that we are going to need to take into consideration. So yeah, um, I think Nina, Dina also, she doesn't want to leave herself with nothing. So I feel like she's going to buy a business i don't know i just kind of want her to buy one i feel like she would you know so why don't we go and purchase a community lot i think she's officially lost the plot to be honest with you my game is running a little slower but sometimes the golf mansion can just be like that because it's so big and stuff plus i'm surprised my pc can handle anything it's so old that 
you know, if it's running a little slow when we play with the Goths, I will take it. So, why don't we buy something in downtown? What can we, the Lulu Lounge, what's that? It's quite expensive, Midnight Flows. I think Nina would own a club. You know, I just, I see her owning a club. But what club? <laughs> I don't know. Um, what's well, FM? FM's a club as well, right? Oh no, that's like a karaoke bar. Um, on Justy. That's a restaurant. Lucky Sharks. Lucky Sharks? <laughs> Lucky Shacks. Pure, what's that? Party. I think we might buy Midnight Flows. I think we're going to buy Midnight Flows. Yes, sir. Please buy it. There we go. She is actually quite hungry, so I think. Oh, okay. I have no idea why that's there. Can we delete that? Thanks. Um. Is there even any room for them to bake anything? Yeah. So Dana's going to come and serve some breakfast. She's going to serve some open face sandwiches. In fact, no. Yeah, open face sandwiches and we'll do banana. And Jean is just watching some TV. Spending her day watching the TV. There's a flies around something somewhere and it's driving me insane because I don't know where it is. Um, Alexander is also going to be getting up in a minute. He wants to speak to Dina today about um, his mum moving back in and about, you know, trying to make everything work, so to speak. Um, he's still avoiding Lucy. He hasn't really spoke to Lucy, but he does like, look, he's so attracted to her. He really does like her. That butler is pissed off. He's going to come off and turn all, off all the computers for me as well because my ass always forgets to turn them off. We can get rid of this high chair as well now because we no longer have a toddler. Get rid of this. Cassandra moved. So she has moved back into the Lafario household. Oh, so Dina knows. Oh, Dina also, she got Bella Goff's email about the threatening of the affair to Cassandra and she emailed Bella back and she was like look if you want to go ahead and make your daughter feel worse than she already did considering her and Donna are divorced now you go and do that and be a spiteful mother but I'm not having an affair with Don it was a one-time thing we're just good friends grow up so yeah you know she's not biting to Bella not yet anyway there's nothing really, you know, she doesn't really care so much about people finding out about the affair because people already think that of her anyway, you know? So it wouldn't be any news to her whatsoever. Um, she does, however, the butler isn't doing his job. Um, oh, I spoke too soon. However, speaking of that row, she is now lonely without, you know, Mortimer here to keep her busy and to keep her entertained so maybe she might get very friendly with the butler and maybe we might have a butler affair I don't know you guys can let me know in the comments she's just talking to Jean that's what I could hear the stupid bing bag is he up yet yeah he's just turned enough other oh, computers for me. Thank you, you little goo egg. Good. By the way, I don't know why I say good egg. I was thinking about this the other day. I was editing one of my videos and I was like, why do I keep calling my sims good eggs? Like, good, I, I don't know if I mean good eggs in the sense of like, in the, in the woman's womb. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, they were a good egg in the womb, so maybe, I don't know. I don't really understand why I say it, but they're good eggs. So, you know. What'll be, what'll be. So they're all sitting down having breakfast. And you know, Alexander's like, so I went to see my mum last uh, last weekend and um, 
you know, I really think you guys should have a conversation. And Dina's like, yeah, no, not interested. She's like, your mother's your mother, and I won't speak horribly of her since she's your mother, but she's, just be careful of her, Alexander. And she's gonna, tr she's trying to speak to um, the butler, but you know, he's just not having it. So why don't you just have a drink instead? She has nothing to do. She has no career. Her husband's in jail. You know, she just, she doesn't really know what to do, so to speak. So she's kind of just awkward here. Um, she's gonna have a drink. Jean is really close with Dina. She isn't really close with anyone else. How is she related to Armani? Is oh, her cousin, isn't it? Yeah. No, she's Armani's uncle. Ah, oh, mad. Okay. She's Armani's uncle. Auntie. Auntie. <laughs> she's Armani's auntie. Sorry. Oh, she's doing the dishes like a good little egg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When Alexander is done with his breakfast though, he is going to come over and he is gonna share his interests and he's gonna gossip with Dina and be like, I want my mum to move back home, I miss her, you know? And Jean, what could we do with you? What are your interests, my love? Do you know what your hobby is? Music and dance. Do you have a... You don't okay hold on I want to get her one of the ballerina stands because I think she'd be really cute we should get her into like the dance and all of that and she could be like a little ballerina in the future I think that would be really really cute I'm sorry if you can hear my mouse clicks more louder than usual it's because I have moved my like set up a little bit around even though we're moving soon i've moved my monitor and stuff around so my mouse is at a different area than before and it's like pretty much right next to my microphone so yeah um it's in the fitness bit right i hope so because otherwise i'm just wasting my time <laughs> uh yeah so we could get oh no that's the job one um where could we put it okay bear with me Stick that there. Stick that there. Where's it going? Don't tell me I can't put that there. If I want to put it there, I'll freaking put that there. See? Told you again. Mm hmm. Look at me go. So I think she could come over here and warm up if it lets her. It probably won't. So he's talking about jail to do now. And he's like, look, dad's in jail, mum put him there. And she's like, exactly, your father's in jail because your mum put him in jail. Your dad didn't do anything, he's been with me the whole time, you know? And he's like, well, he's still a bad person, I think. And until we get to the bottom of this, he isn't coming home anytime soon. And Tina's like, well, that's not good because, you know, Mormon doesn't have long left to go. He's, he's getting old, you know? Life's grafting and he's like, if you get mum to move back in, you could talk to her and maybe sort something out about Mortimer coming back home. And you know, Dina's like, I'll think about it, Alexander. I don't really want her here. And he's like, well, it's she's my mom and I want her here and you don't really have the best right to say about it. But, you know, it's gonna throw in her some shade. She's so cute. Look how cute she looks. Being a little ballerina. Oh, oh she's adorable. Oh, okay, okay. Screenshot, please. I spent way too much longer than I should have on that screenshot than I care to admit. He actually needs the toilet, do not he go pee? And then I think when he's done peeing, he is going to come upstairs and send an email to his mum and basically just be like, Dina's not gonna let you move back in because of what you did to dad. So unless you can fix something like that, there's no way you're coming home, Mama. sorry, as much as I'd love you to be. And that's basically what he's going to say to her in the email. But Dina's just, she's kind of like all about spending money today, I think. So I think we're going to take little Jean shopping. Why not? Alexander's going to stay home. So I think, hold on, this is Cassandra's car. So we're just going to get rid of that. 
swap these cars around so she has access to her car and I think we're gonna go and take Jean shopping go somewhere Jean Goff and we're gonna go to we're gonna go downtown we're gonna go to an, a very expansive um is that clothing I don't know cold issue clothing So we're gonna go to an expensive shop and we're gonna go, you know, get our hairs done, get our nails done, buy some new outfits for us gals, you know, treat our daughter, treat her. So we'll go take her to get some clothes and then we'll take her for a little lunch, I think. I think that could be really, really cute, really adorable, love it. <laughs> um, you know, Dina's all about spending the cash today. She doesn't care. She's like, mm. I need the money. I need to spend some money. My husband's in jail. It's a tragedy. Oh, I was like, why is he... What's going on? But it's because he's Emil and Bella. So they're going to head to the shopping mall and I will skip when they get there. Okay, so the guys have arrived at um, the shopping mall. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to fix something on my mouse. But yeah, the guys have arrived at the shopping mall. So we're going to buy them some new fancy clothes. So I think Dina's going to come over and try on every day. This will give me a moment to see if my defaults have also refreshed. She's going to try on an every day. She's going to try on a formal, nice new dress. She's gonna try on an everyday, she's gonna try on a formal, you know, make the most of it. And then I think Dina's also gonna buy her phone. So she's just going in and try her first little everyday outfit on. Dina's gonna go ahead and pick hers. So Dina's just gonna come and try her everyday outfit on as well, but I can't wait to see little Jean's outfit. I think she's gonna look so cute. Stranger Danger, stop trying to speak to my child, you weirdo. Who is? Oh, I created her. I was like, oh, she's really cute. <laughs> it's because I created her. <laughs> Garrett, I would like to speak to you, please. I'd like to create you, Garrett. Oh, she looks adorable in that little dress. Oh, I love it. Okay, we're definitely gonna buy her. Oh, that's John Burp that thought she was hot. Jeez. We're definitely gonna buy her that. She looks cute. Oh my god, yes, Dina. Yes. And we're definitely getting that for her because she looks amazing. This music's a bit, you know, it's kind of popping. I won't lie, I'm kind of digging it. Let's pick her a formal wear. I've seen this nice dress that I want to see if I can find quickly so I don't have to cut this bit out. <laughs> um, let me see if I can find it. I'm really sorry if you can hear my brother crying. He's having a temper tantrum. Um, she's going to go try on that. Uh, we're going to buy our little girl a phone and then we're going to buy Alexander a handheld console. We'll buy a magazine for us and um, some perfumes. I want to see how she is going to look in her formal dress. Um, yeah, whatever that is called. Please, I want to see what you look like. Raven's all about these magazines. Please move, gal. I need to buy some uh, magazines. Oh. oh, she looks so cute. Oh, I love it. She looks adorable. She looks adorable. Dina's just buying her letters of Vogue, you know, 
So the girls are arriving at the 125 cafe, I believe it's called. Um, I'm actually going to get her to go ahead and ask to form casual group. No. 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 My game just crashed. My game just crashed and I think I just lost my recording. No. No. Why did it crash? Please tell me I didn't just lose all of that. I really hope I haven't just lost all of that recording. Oh my god. Why is it done that? So after that near death experience of them, um, you know, the game crashing, I decided they're just going to go to the sporty shack in Pleasant View for their lunch. Um, Dawn LaFire is actually here so Dina's just coming over and giving him a hug and then she's going to get the girls, the girls, her and the girl seated and so they can have some lunch. Oh, she's making a friend. Oh. So yeah, I decided to get Dina to have her hair down as well. I thought that would be a lot of fun. I think Don's just, oh no, he's also getting seated. Just waiting on service because it sucks. I'm kidding. Um, Great Don. Do you not know who Don Lafario is? Have you been living under a rock? I'd watch when he's an elder and you're an adult, he'll probably try and go after you because he's that much of a creep. I'm joking, I'm joking. He's not a creep. Eh. Have you got fed up of waiting? Oh my god, yes. I really think they two should go in and get photos. Oh, that would be so cute. Nina, you're smarter than me sometimes, gal. Is that song in Simlish? Do you know when it's going, it's just something, it's just something? Is that in Simlish? Because it sounds English and it sounds like she's saying, it's just love, it's just love. Take picture, goofy one, and then come get seated. I bet that photo's cute. We'll put it up in Jean's new room when that eventually gets built. Adorable. Oh, is this where they're sitting for their lunch? This is where everyone sits when I bring them here. <laughs> it's like a casual place, I guess. I don't know. I love the sport shark though. It's like, an, like a family restaurant. We should have bought the sport shark. Nah, she doesn't want to own a restaurant. Can I have a waiter, please? I want to order my food. No? Please? I'd like to order. I want to order some food. Oh my god. Really? Hold on. Uh, Jean will have a hamburger and I will have, I mean Dina will have a chef salad and I'm gonna also go and turn that off so my game doesn't crash. If everyone could move out the way please it would argue. Oh, oh I want her to meet Betty Broke. That would be cute. Could you get the fuck out the way? Excuse me. Please move, child. I don't know why they're all upstairs doing this muscle, but it's causing some real traffic. And I don't quite appreciate it. There we go. There we go. Much better. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I want to try and get a screenshot of them eating their lunch together because I think it would be super cute. See the way she looked at that water then, like, mmm, this water's good. Is this guy not gonna come and take our older either? What the fuck? 
What? Uh, what are? Oh, he's taking his food to other people. Excuse me, I've been trying to order for the past like twenty minutes. Your service in here is shocking. <laughs> Honestly, fun fact: me. Well, it's not really a fun fact. Me, um, my mum, my gran went to McDonald's um last week or something. It was when there was a Scotland game on, I think. No, I don't know when it was, but basically they were doing like this deal if you went for like the click and collect at McDonald's where you were getting a Big Mac for 175. So we thought, fuck it, we'll go to McDonald's. So we went and we were waiting at the click and collect for I shit you not 40 minutes. Um, and there was people that was going in there and ordering before us and getting like much more stuff than us and was getting loads. And like, I don't really care about waiting. Like, it's like, I'm like, oh, whatever, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to sit and complain. I'll just wait unless it gets to a point where I'm like, right, where's our order? So my mum had asked this guy where our order was and um, you know, he kind of just turned around and was like, oh, I'll go and check. And then we were waiting for like another 10 minutes and you know, he still didn't ring it. So then we had and I, we had to ask another girl um, and they were like, oh, we don't know, we'll need to go and try and find it. And the reason we were getting so um, worried about it is because on the app it was saying that it was already delivered or given. It was already collected and it wasn't. But it turns out that they had to wait for like the Frappuccino, even though like people were getting Frappuccinos anyway. So like they came up with an excuse and basically they like, they didn't actually um, make our order for like at least like a good 20 minutes while we were there. I'm not sure, but it was a really long and painful experience and I don't, like I said, I'm not really that arse when it comes to waiting. Like I have respect for people that work in customer service and catering and stuff like that because it's probably a lot to deal with, but my mum and my gran are kind of the opposite and it was kind of one of the mornings when I'm sitting in the back of the car like really embarrassed because they're like <laughs> basically nearly shouting in the McDonald's car park and I'm like, hmm, okay, I want to go home now. People are staring like, oh these bitches, <laughs> these are the Karens. <laughs> Honestly, I was like... I just want to go home, please. Um. So yeah. That was fun. That was fun. Sorry if I just kind of went silent there. I'm trying to like take a screenshot. Okay. So they two are actually gonna enjoy the lunch now. <laughs> Finally! Good, because they are hungry. And um, actually, while these guys are enjoying their lunch, I'm gonna nice dinner. I'm gonna go ahead and skip on over to Mr. Mortimer Go. See you guys at the jail. So here is Morty. He is currently in prison. I apologise for all of their prison clothes, by the way. I cannot find anything decent. But he is currently in prison. There is a few other... Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, that's war. Um, there's a few other people here. By the way, this lot uh, was made by Pleasant Sims. I'll leave the link in the description. It's actually a really nice lot. I really like it. Um, so yeah, he is currently in jail, as you guys already know. He is in jail with a bunch of other people. Dustin's there, Gordon King, him. <laughs> so we're all here, just kind of chilling. Um, that's the warden by the way. Warden Cross his name is. I think actually the prisoner's all hungry. Well he's completely tired. Why don't you go to sleep? So he's kind of here, he's kind of just like stuck, um, he does get to phone people sometimes during the day, um, but he's currently just in prison, he's just kind of chilling really, he, he never has anything to do, he's completely bored all the time, I told you to go to sleep, but yeah Mortimer kind of hate, hates it here, he, he's an old guy you know and he's gonna be dying soon sadly. And he hates it here. He doesn't want to be trapped in here. He wants to, he wants to see Alexander grow up and go to college. And you know, he's he's sick of putting on the the weight in the jail. <laughs> he wants to see people get engaged and have a good life. You know, he just he wants out of this hell home basically, and he hasn't getting out. Um, 
Warden Cross is going to have a little conversation with him later on about what will be happening with him. Um, can you not? I was going to say grab a plate. And then, oh Jesus, sorry. And then after you've done that, you can come and head to bed, sir. Um, his social's really bad. Um, I'm actually going to allow him to have one of his phone calls. Um, I'll allow it just this once. Um, they are allowed from 9pm to 11pm they are allowed to go out of the room and call. They're not allowed outside though at night time. Um, allow all in or out freely. Uh, keep out. So we're gonna call and I think he's actually, I think he's gonna call Bella. He should be calling Dina. But he's gonna call Bella, cause you know, that's more and more for you. How have you just? Ah, all right then. You do your mate. I don't know why he's gone all the way to that sink when there's a sink in his bedroom, but yeah, okay, sure. Um, so he's talking to Bella right now, and you know. He's talking to her about being stuck in here. He's like, Bella, come on. You know I don't have anything to do with your disappearance. Why are you doing this? I want to see Alexander get a good education. I want to see him grow up. And she's like, Mortimer, that's not how it's going to work. You're going to... He's like, hurry up. I want to follow my girlfriend. Um, um, yeah, so basically, she's like, that's not how it's going to work. You're going to, if you want out of there, because I'm the only person that can get you out of jail, as a snap of my fingers, you will come out, you will be out of jail. You're going to listen to every single thing I say. You're going to do every single thing I request, or no. You ain't getting out of here. And he's like, ugh, whatever, Bella, you're so sinister. What is it you want? You know, what is it that you need from me? Is it money? Is it art paintings? You know, what is it? And she's like, I don't know yet. I'll get back to you. And, you know, he's kind of like, what about the kids? Do they hate me? And she's like, yeah, basically. Basically they hate you. Um, and he's like, she's like, the first thing I want from you is I want back in the house. If I don't get back into this house, back into the golf house, then you're staying in there for life. And you know, he's like, all right, I tell you what, you can move in when you get me out of here. And she's like, I'll think about it. I'll talk to Warden Cross about it. I'll see if I can sort something out, but I want half the money. I want the house and I want the kits. And he's like, what about me? And she's like, well, we'll decide when I see you in your home in a few weeks. And he's like, you're so evil. And she's like, mm -hmm, you better tell Dina your plan. So he's going to hang up on Bella and you know he's going to come over and he's going to call, he's going to call Dina, in fact actually he's going to call little Jean, he's going to call his daughter and you know he's just going to ask her, he's like hey sweetie how have you been, I hope you're keeping well. She's like, yeah, I'm good, Dad. I went out shopping with Mom. We went for lunch. It was fun. Wish you were here. And he's like, I know. I won't be long and I will be, I promise. And he's like, just try and keep your mum calm for me and make sure she's doing okay. Make sure Alexander's alright, you know. Just be a good little princess. And she's like, yeah, I will, Daddy. Don't you worry. And um, he's going to head to bed. But yeah, that's pretty much all Mortimer doesn't do. Oh, I forgot I said keep him out. My bed... My bed. Um, keep in. So yeah, he's just gonna go to the toilet and stuff like that, and then he's gonna head to bed. And um, yeah, that's that's basically that's Mortimer's life in jail. So <laughs> that's the end of the episode, guys. I um, hope if you did enjoy, please make sure to smash the like button and comment 
below whatever you feel what are you give me some ideas you know hit me with the goss uh subscribe if you haven't already because it means the world to me and also uh, subscribe if you're new because i'm awesome sometimes definitely not and that notification bell so you never miss when a new round is uploaded anyway guys once again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye one two three fuck it